Hey Tube, I'm back this time with my wax empties for the month of March 2020. So March was the first month that I did a melting box and I was actually quite successful with it. So a lot of items you see or you're going to see here today are from my melting box. Plus there are quite a few other things too. So I don't have any chit chat. I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So I'm going to start with um, some kind of like odds and ends and then get into like candles and melts and stuff like that. So the first two items I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you are two clamshells from Walmart. They are both from Better Homes and Gardens. So one is Frosted Winter Flurries. This is something I was trying to get used up in the month of March just because it's becoming seasonally inappropriate. So this smells like, and I know this sounds weird, but like an icy wood is how I would describe this. I think that it is great for um, winter time. I think that I would repurchase it, probably not like a ton, but I would repurchase at least one this coming winter. Um, but again, I just feel like it makes no sense when like the trees are budding and the sun's out and you know, that kind of stuff. So great for winter, again, like an icy wood type of fragrance. Really lovely, it's very clean, very fresh, but not for spring. So liked it, would repurchase it, but not for a while. The next thing that I used up is another clamshell from Better Homes and Gardens in French Lilac Flowers. I really like lilac fragrances. You will find them in my empties from time to time. And yeah, I had a really purple, like light, really pretty light purple wax. And yeah, I get at least one every year. I enjoy it. Not something that I would recommend if you don't like florals, but if you do like florals and you like lilac, this is a good one. The next item that I used up um, is actually kind of like a twofer here. So I used up this scent plugin in, oh geez, I'm blanking on the fragrance. It is, oh, Bahama Breeze, that's what it is. So it is a really, uh, like really pretty blue color. It just smells like a general tropical medley drink. I really enjoy it. I tend to get it because it's a good performer from Yankee. So yeah, it was okay in the plug-in. I've kind of been trying these lately because there was a day where I went to Yankee where I just had a coupon for a really good deal on plugins and I decided to give them a try. So um, yeah, it's okay. I don't know that I really want plugins after I'm done with the ones that I purchased, but if you are a plug-in person, this one was a good one. Right now I'm using up this one. So you'll find the um, container for it, I guess, in my April empties, but right now I put in Sicilian lemon. So it's been my experience with the plugs where they smell great and I can smell them for a couple days and then I just kind of don't. So I tend to just keep them until the oil runs out. I'm always watching them, so I'm always cognizant of that. Um, but I can smell them when I walk right past them, but not like in general. They're definitely not filling my apartment in the way that I wish that they would. Um, so, you know, I guess if you're a plug-in person and you can get them for a good deal, then I guess it's okay. But like in general, again, I don't think that I necessarily need them to, you know, be a part of my stash. The next kind of random item that I used up is another one of these frosted cranberry scent portable things for my car. Same sort of thing. I feel like I can smell it for a while and then it just kind of is gone. I got these very much so on sale for about 75% off toward the tail end of the winter SAS at Bath and Body Works this past January. And they're okay for the time being, but you know, same kind of thing. I don't feel like moving forward, I need to continue buying these. So they're nice for the time being, but Eh, I don't need them. Now, I'm going to get into my candles. Speaking of Bath & Body Works, I used up two tester candles that I found at SAS for 75% off. This one is in Blueberry Sugar, a great, um, you know, kind of fun blueberry candy scent. I don't know that they have... Oh, the sets of fragrance notes are blueberries and sugar and graham cracker. I don't get a graham cracker from this. To me, it smells like a blueberry candy, but it's nice. I still like it. I would repurchase it. Next one is Pink Apple Punch, one of my favorites um, that Bath & Body Works puts out. This says crisp apples, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. These notes are different than the notes from the three wicks for some reason i don't know whatever but it's the same fragrance i love pink apple punch i will continue to purchase pink apple punch it's a great fizzy 
kind of lady, uh, pink lady apple scent. I love it. The next one is Marshmallow Fireside. The key notes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roast, vanilla. Love this fragrance. Got nothing from this. Wouldn't repurchase. But in general, I would repurchase Marshmallow Fireside stuff. Next one from my three wigs. I used up a three wig. This is the packaging from the winter, not SAS, the uh, Candle Day from 2019 in White Gardenia. I'm a White Gardenia fan. I buy at least one every year. The key notes are classic White Gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, and white woods. Same story. You know, it's great for about a day and a half and then nothing. So I decided to just kind of let this go because White Gardenia tends to be really strong in general. So this actually lasted me about two and a half days or so. So I felt like that was not good, but like, okay for what I paid for it. Um, in general, I would not be happy with that, but for White Gardenia, I just kind of let it go, right? Um, so yeah, great fragrance. It's the same Gardenia that Bath & Body Works always does, but the longevity, mm, not feeling it. So yeah, if you've watched my videos, you know I have a bit of a, a situation with Bath & Body Works candles right now where I'm just generally not pleased, but yeah, for right now it is what it is. Now, I'll be talking about all the little bits I have in here later on, so I'll just set that to the side. I also used up a Georgia Peach from the same candle sale. Um, same sort of thing, lasted me maybe about a day and a half, two days, and that was it. Not acceptable for me. It says, Juicy Peaches do covered leaves, hint of vanilla with essential oils. The same Georgia Peach we've had for a while. Love this fragrance, but did not love the performance. Next, I used up a pineapple mango, again from Candle Day. Key notes are fresh pineapple, juicy mango, vine ripened raspberry with essential oils. Same thing. Lasted for about a day and a half, two days, and then nothing. Like the weird thing is, it's really strong and awesome for like the first, especially the first 24 hours or so. And keep in mind, I melt these in a crock, so it's not like I burn them. So my time that I get out of the fragrance is not the same as a burn time. Just for context. Um, but yeah, it smells great for about 24 hours. It smells like a Bath & Body Works candle. It performs like a Bath & Body Works candle. And then it quickly tapers into nothing. And that's what my problem is. So I used it up because this lasted me about two days. I just let it go. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to return it because I'm really only exchanging the ones that give me 24 hours or so like if it lasts me if I can smell it for more than two days I just let it go so that's it the last three wick that I have left is this aromatherapy love this is rose and vanilla a great fragrance love it the key notes are rose oil and vanilla extract so yeah it just smells like like a little bit of vanilla with rose water and ivy so great fragrance. This lasted me a little bit longer because it is not from Candle Day. It wasn't produced for Candle Day. So um, I think that in general, Bath & Body Works candles um, became weaker, especially in 2018 and 2019. Um, and they just like completely kind of fell apart for me in winter of 2019. But this one was okay. It lasted me about like four days or so. And again, I always buy them on sale. So while it's not great because I got a good fragrance for about four days ish, I decided again, just let it go. It is what it is. And I think that four days is not good, but it is okay, especially compared to what I've been getting lately. The next item that I used up is actually a bag of melts from Rose Girls. This is my last um, vendor wax item that I had in my March melting box. This is in Satsuma. So I'm a Satsuma fan, especially Satsuma from the body shop. It is kind of my jam. And this smells, I would say, pretty much like it. So the bag doesn't really smell like much of anything anymore. It is definitely a body care fragrance. This is not a Satsuma that like I would smell and think, oh, I should eat that. But yeah, it's kind of a body care Satsuma fragrance. It's not exactly the body shop, but I feel like it's close. So again, if you like Satsuma from body shop, I would suggest getting this in or from Rose Girls. So yeah. The last two candles I used up are from Yankee. I used up one in Fresh Mint. So this to me smells like spearmint. You know, it smells very 
I would say kind of like zingy for a mint. You know, it's not like your peppermint um, marshmallow or twisted peppermint. It's different than that. It's a fresh mint. Smells great. This lasted me, oh, maybe about four days in my warmer, which I think for Yankee is fine. Um, I got lots of, I wouldn't say lots of compliments, but like I'm, we're kind of hosting um, two people in our apartment right now um, and they both commented, and they're both guys by the way, they both commented that they enjoyed fresh mint. So yeah. The last candle I used up is again also from Yankee. This is in Blueberry. I'm really glad that Blueberry is kind of having a moment with Yankee again this year. Um, and I've got a number of these because Blueberry is my favorite fragrance ever from Yankee. So it's really nice to have more of these. This lasted me again about four days or so. I think that's okay for what I pay for Yankee. And yeah, I would repurchase. So that's it for my candles. Now I'm gonna get into more of my Yankee stuff, but this time um, my tarts and my votives. So I'm just gonna like open up these and just kind of start pulling. So I used up a chocolate layer cake. It's nice, quite a divisive I find in the uh, wax community, but I like it from time to time. It is generally a good performer, but it's very heavy. So if you don't love chocolate fragrances, I would not recommend it. Next thing that I used up is a pumpkin apple parfait votive. I generally don't get into pumpkin spice, but this is nice because I feel like it's pretty balanced and creamy, so it was good. Would repurchase in the fall. I, and by the way, I see this glare there. I guess I was not very cognizant of that before I started filming. That's why I'm trying to like do this. Um, but yeah, I used up a tart Again, from Yankee and Forbidden Apple. I found this kind of randomly a few months ago at Yankee, and I like Forbidden Apple. It's definitely a green apple and ivy fragrance, so I like it any time of year. It's not for everyone because I think the ivy is pretty strong in it, but I really enjoy it. All right, so jar number two. Let's see what I got in here. All right, so I have a tart in Cafe El Fresco, one of my favorites from Yankee. It smells like a sweet, sugary cafe drink. Love it, smells really good. Another one of my favorites in um, a tart is Juicy Watermelon. So I've had this before where I put in just too much of it at once and it really gave me a headache, but when I do one at a time in a fairly large space, it smells really nice. So. I love it on cold, but it can get very headachey. So maybe only buy like one or two of these and then roll with that and see how you do. But yeah, I love it. It's very tart, very sweet, and it's really nice. I used up a votive in Cherries on Snow. I bought a number of these at the SAS or toward the end of SAS. Um, and yeah, I like it. it. Smells like a nice kind of maraschino cherry. And yeah, I think it's really nice. I bought a number of them because I know that I like it. I'm a little bit cherried on snowed out right now, so I don't really want any more right now, but I like it. Again, it's, I don't think it's especially, um, you know, realistic. It is very syrupy. It is very sweet. I think it comes off a little medicinal by the end, but in general, I still like it and still would recommend it if you like a maraschino cherry. Next thing, I used up a Berrylicious. I love this, but unfortunately this one, it was getting kind of old and it just didn't perform very well. So I just couldn't really smell it that well, but in general, I would recommend Berry Berrylicious, a fun dark berry fragrance. I used up a Votive in Mistletoe. So it kind of out of season, but I wanted to use up um, kind of like what you saw with the Frosted Winter Flurries, the rest of my winter stuff, plus it's green. So it's pushing myself to use up all my green wax. Um, a really good Christmas tree scent. You know, I, I don't know that I necessarily get like a mistletoe berry from it, but a great evergreen fragrance um, kind of reminded me of balsam. So if you like that, then you'd probably like mistletoe as well. I used up a votive in Vineyard, probably one of my favorites from Yankee. I think that Vineyard is always a good performer. I always love it. Really pretty dark purple wax. Would recommend it. Nice and sweet. I used up a tart in red raspberry, same thing. Nice, sweet, kid-friendly, really enjoyed it. Would repurchase. Here's another votive in cherries on snow. 
And yeah, there's tons of this stuff. I was home for most of March, so that's why I have been melting like a fiend. Another Cafe El Fresco, very nice. Love it, love it, love it. And finally, we are on to our last jar. Let's see what I got, people. There's a ton of it. Red Raspberry Votive, again, love it, would repurchase. Cherries on Snow, love it, would repurchase. Red Raspberry, always a good one, always a good one. Have another Mistletoe, would repurchase. Now this one, Mountain Lodge. So I bought a couple of these toward the end of SAS on a day when the votives were cheap. And I bought Mountain Lodge because I had never tried it before and I enjoyed it. Um, you know, to a certain extent, I enjoyed it enough to try it out when it was cheap. And it was nice, but not something that I feel like I really need to have. There's something kind of smoky about it, um, something very masculine about it. So like that was cool, especially in a bathroom, but I don't feel like I need to purchase more of it to move on. But in general, if you like that kind of fragrance, I would recommend Mountain Lodge. Let's see what I got. Oh, a tart in strawberry lemon ice, always a favorite, always a good performer. It smells like strawberry lemon and icy things. It smells like what it sounds like. Another chocolate layer cake. I like it from time to time, but not everyone's bag. Another Berrylicious, same kind of thing. I can tell that it was aging. The packaging is yellowing. It's a great scent. Really fun, dark berry bakery, but just didn't really give it much. And then finally, the end with a votive and juicy watermelon. Same kind of thing. It's a very tart, very sweet fragrance. It's fun. I love it for springtime. So that is it. Oh wait, no, that is not it. I currently am cooling down a Bath & Body Works Freewick in Pink Apple Punch. Love it. Did not last me especially long in the warmer, but it is what it is. So it lasted long enough where I decided to just kind of keep it and roll with it. So that is it for my March empties. I'll be back soon-ish with a uh, an April melting box. I got through a ton in March because I've been shacked up in my little home. I'm going crazy and my wax is keeping me like kind of sane right now. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at yellowbrickxpot. Same way it's spelled here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.